In this video, we're going to explain the solution to this visualizing concepts problem, coming up. Hey everybody, my name is James Beard and welcome to Mastering Solutions, where we take the stress out of your science classes. In this problem, they're asking about an alloy called brass. They say that musical instruments are made out of it. Of course, we have some pictures here of a trombone and a trumpet. They say that the approximate composition of this is roughly two to one of copper to zinc atoms, but they say that it can vary a little bit. There's zinc atoms in there and there's copper atoms and they're all mixed together. So of course, as just we were talking about, since they're not bound together, and they want to know if you would classify brass as an element, a compound, or a homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. Now, of course, we know that it's not an element because they say that there's multiple kinds of atoms, so we can cross that out. An element, of course, is only one kind of atom, which can can be bound to itself or it can be individual, but there's only one kind. A compound now is multiple atoms, but they're bound together into little molecules. Mixtures, however, are a combination of more than one kind of atom or a molecule, but they're not bound into individual discrete particles. So now that we have the definition of those down, we know that we can cross out element as we already have here. And we know that we can cross out a compound because they're together and they're jumbled up. So we know it's a mixture, of course, but which one is it? Is it homogeneous or is it heterogeneous? So homogeneous, homo meaning same, hetero meaning different, and genos is the Greek word for kind. So what they're saying is we have either the same kind of things in this mixture or do we have different kinds of things in this mixture? So in this, they're saying in the question that under an optical microscope, it looks all the same. You can't really tell a difference. So what they're saying is this is a homogeneous mixture, meaning, yeah, we have different things in there, but it's essentially all mixed to the sameness so that there's not really a whole lot of difference if we look at a microscope. If it was heterogeneous, then we would be able to tell a difference if we looked under a microscope and looked really closely, we would see that there's different kinds of things in the mixture. Before we finish this problem, if you found this video helpful so far, please hit the like button, subscribe, and comment below if it was a helpful explanation so others and myself know that it helps you with your homework. Thank you. So now the last part of the question is they say, would it be correct to say that brass is a solution? So since we're dealing with a homogeneous mixture, it's uniformly distributed throughout, then yes, that is the definition of a solution. Now you may be saying, what are you talking about? Because solutions are liquids. It's, it's not a liquid here. A solution though can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. It's a homogeneous mixture. And so that is the definition of solution. And so in this case, even though it sounds weird, we can say that yes, brass is a solution.